What's going on everyone? Welcome to a new video on the channel and welcome to some crew 2. I decided to hop back on this game and revisit it because I wanted to play a little bit. Just every now and then I love hopping on this game and just having having a bit of fun with it. But I wanted to see what my actual real life car is like in this game. Alright, so that's what is going to happen in today's video. I want to have a look and see what sort of customization options and what what can we do to this, act to, to this car here. As you can see... So BMW M4, it's a pre-LCI, so pre-facelift, so this is pretty much very, very close to my car. Uh, a few differences between this car and my car, obviously I've, I've done some stuff to my car, so it doesn't look exactly like this. I've changed the, the taillights, so they're the, uh, they're the shadow line taillights from the LCI car. I also have the little bootlip spoiler as well, and uh, my grille is also black, and it's not, it just doesn't have chrome on it pretty much. And that's pretty much it. Actually, the headlights. The headlights are also just the Byzenons instead of the Icon LEDs. For whatever reason in this game, I don't know why it doesn't, like, run daytime running lights on for some of the cars. It's, it's really weird. Oh, hello. Alright. Anyway, I wanted to hop on this game, like I said, and have a look and play this game. And, and just to, to play with this car. Because I wanted to see what, what it's like in this game. It sounds pretty good, actually. It actually doesn't even sound too bad. Let's go to the interior here. I mean, there's a lot of details missing. A lot of details missing on the inside here. Um, it does have the carbon trim, though, which is kind of cool. I like that. Um, the actual dials themselves, they're not gray. They should be gray, because it's an M car. There's no electric speedo. There's no, there's no other things in the middle, pretty much. And that's pretty much it about the inside. I mean, I guess it's... That's about all it's missing. Everything's pretty much like black on black, which is a bit boring. Uh, I have a white interior, um, well, white seats, and then the rest of it is is black. But other than that, it's it's fairly accurate. Like I said, it's lacking a bit of detail. I mean, this is an old game now, thinking about it, and also even the brake lights. See, when you're braking, like the the little strips, those are those are side lights. They don't usually come on when you're braking. It's just, and it's also only the outside light that's. That's coming on when it's breaking. Regardless, doesn't really matter. Like I said, I wanted to mess around with this thing and see what it's like. It looks really good in this game. In black as well. Um, pretty much the same car as, or the same color as mine. Now really quick, uh, if you guys actually want to see some stuff, IRL stuff with me, my car, and traveling and all that sort of stuff, uh, go to my Instagram. It's linked down in the description box below or just, it's up on the screen. It doesn't matter. It's DubsMB pretty much. It's Instagram.com slash DubsMB. It's the same as my YouTube channel, same as everything else. Um, so if you guys want to see my uh, car, like I said, and traveling and all that sort of stuff, more real life stuff, then uh, then go check that out. We can put a CS, CS bonnet on this thing. I am down to go ahead and change a lot of this just to make it, you know, look more, more crazy and stuff like that. If I was to change color of this car, I mean, there's a bunch of different, uh, different colors on this thing. I bought it in black. I actually really like it in black. Uh, honestly, I really, really do. Uh, however, if I was to change it to a different color, there's actually quite a few Colors that I, I would like. The red looks really good as well. This is easily my favorite one. We'll get back to that in a sec. Yasmarina Blue and then Austin Yellow as well. Uh, this, I don't think it actually came on the pre-facelift car, if I remember correctly. This is this is a post-facelift car um, color. Anyway, doesn't matter. This is my favorite one, though. Secure Orange is definitely my favorite color for, for this thing. And I'm going to put that on because it looks beautiful. Like I said, not only am I going to go ahead and, uh, and change stuff to, to this car... Just to see pretty much what is available for it. I'm not going to make it identical to my car in real life. I just bought it pretty much. My car in real life isn't actually that... It's not really modified. Well, it's it's tuned. Like, it's it's tuned, but it's not modified. So it looks a lot more like a... I guess you can call it, I guess, a sleeper. Even though it's not, because it's still an M4. Uh, but it's it's not standard. It's not stock. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Visually, I'm definitely going to change this thing to quite, quite, quite differently. Uh, CS bonnet, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's move over to the front bumper. There you go. That's the is the grill that I have on it We can obviously add the M performance kit all around which I don't I'm not a huge fan to be honest with you I really am not a huge fan of the M performance kit I feel like every single person that has had one of these things that went to modify them They all have that lip at the front or a lip at the bottom and I don't I'm not a big fan of it So I'm gonna put the grill on it, but I'm not gonna do anything else rims. We have the original wheels that we have for it, and we have these wheels here. 
And then we have the same... Well, these are the wheels that I have, which are the diamond cut ones. They're basically black on the inside and then diamond cut on the outside. With these ones, which I think... I thought these were smaller. I thought these were 18s. Are they not? Anyway, doesn't matter. This is another selection of wheels. I, I, I've never seen these except for the, the US spec cars. I've never seen these wheels on a normal spec car. These again are the same wheels that I have except these aren't diamond cut. And then we have these disgusting and performance wheels, which when you bought the car, this is what came with the car. Uh, which I'm not a big, big fan of. I do really like the original wheels on this thing. A lot. I n I'd never even want to change them on my actual car in real life. Uh, like I said, there's not really many wheels that I would end up putting on, on my car in real life. And I actually really like the original wheels on it, so I don't really want to change those. Uh, there's a lot of wheels for this thing. I'm down to go for something... Something ridiculous. I did see those five spokes at the very beginning. I'm gonna go change the details, I think. Where are they? These actually don't even look too bad either. They look a bit like a mix between some BBSs and, and HREs. Which is kind of funny. Uh, where are they? It's gonna look so Japanese with these wheels on it. These. <laughs> they look like rotor wheels. <laughs> they look like rotor wheels. I don't really want to paint them any color. I kind of want them to be in, like, in, in chrome. I think they... That look good. I was thought it's like the, like twenty twos because this is the same color, the same size as my my other wheels, which are what nineteens, twenties, and oh no, they're twenty one. Sorry. Oh my god, I can make them so small. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I kind of want to keep this thing kind of close enough to the original. Um, okay. Anyway, caliper color. Actually, I don't really want to change that because I think does this not have? Why is this painted black? It's because they changed the wheels. Anyway, I'm gonna paint these. A bronze color. I don't know if I'm able to, to paint them the exact same color. Actually, blue. Blue, because blue is a BMW color. Um, the, the golden sort of Austin yellow color is when you have carbon ceramic brakes, which this does by the looks of things, except I can't I can't replicate that color. It's 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 not possible with this color palette, unless I go more in depth with what I'm doing, but uh, it, it won't let me in this game. Uh, carbon mirrors, doing that. Side skirts. Uh, again, it's just M performance stuff on the side, which I'm not a big fan of. See, there it is. Uh, I'm probably... Uh, I don't know if I want to change anything in this thing. I mean, this one actually doesn't even look that bad. It just it just looks like it's a little lower. I'm going to put that on. Uh, rear wing. This is the one that I have on. My car. Put big ol' I think... Oh yeah, there's the M performance wing there. Uh, I think I'm just going to put this one on. It's a very clean build, okay? Let's just put it that way. I don't want to change a lot of stuff to this thing. Um, rear valance is actually quite nice. The M performance valance. I, do, I don't mind that. And I don't want the carbon tips either for the exhaust. I just want the normal ones. That's the one thing I'm thinking about changing in my car, actually, that I don't have. is that little valance at the bottom there. Um, because mine obviously just looks like that. Uh, this, once I change the rear bumper, it also comes with the M performance exhaust, which is a little different to the standard one. Uh... It's, uh, it's not like fully chrome tipped like that. Oh, what's happening? Hello? <laughs> it's not fully chrome tipped like that. They're more like stainless uh, stainless steel tips like that, pretty much. So, anyway. And then interior color. We got the red. Disgusting brown. I don't like that. And this is pretty much the same spec as my car now on the inside. <laughs> it's literally the same spec. Cabin trim. Yeah, this is this is pretty much the same spec as my car now. But the blue is disgusting, and so is the yellow. I'm putting white. Uh, obviously, we can change it, so it's just... Uh, actually, it doesn't even look that bad, though. You just have the stitching, but I'm going to put that interior material. What's the difference? Just just the standard leather, I think, is fine. I don't know why it's asking me. Interior insert. Uh, yeah, this is, like, on... I've seen these on, on a bunch of, like, standard cars. Actually, it's not even, like... It's not even, uh, like, a glossy black on the inside. It's, like, a weird, matte, disgusting, like, color on the inside. It's just so weird looking. Um, this I've never seen on any of the cars, ever. This, like, weird brushed aluminum thing. Uh, and then the carbon trim is, is pretty much the same as, as what I have in real life. Now, that's pretty much it on this build. So there's not much stuff that we can do to it. Uh, Performance-wise, I do want to change some stuff on it. Especially suspension, because I want to lower this thing uh, quite a bit. So I'm going to put that on, I guess, um, and we'll adjust it now in a second as well. Let's just, should I just max this thing out? Let's max it out and see what it's like. So obviously stock, 430 horsepower, 
155 miles an hour top speed. Uh, obviously, this is, like I said, completely stock. I'll see what it's like in the very end now. If I go ahead and I upgrade, for whatever reason, I upgrade the gearbox. And it gives me more horsepower. <laughs> Welcome to the crew too, I guess. Okay. Put this on. 570 horsepower. Oh, this is a lot closer to what my car is. <laughs> I think mine's around 550 or something like that. Anyway, it, it's a it's it's a stage two, whatever the hell that means. The tune I think on it is is supposed to be around 550 horsepower, like 700 and something newton meters of torque. It's fast, like it, it's a it's a very quick car. Um, why did my mirrors not change? I just realized. Side mirrors, those. Oh, I just didn't buy them. Skirts, I bought that. I bought that. Okay, so I bought everything else except for the mirrors. Weird. Anyway. Uh, and then performance is pretty much done. Alright. We're out. This looks kind of good. I also just found out and I just realized that you cannot actually lower the cars in this game. Which is the stupidest thing in the world. It's quicker. It is much quicker. $700 horsepower now. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's not bad. I mean, again, it's fully maxed out, so I've got the best brakes that I could possibly get, the best suspension, the best everything. I mean, I haven't actually gone into the tuning yet, but... Well, I have, but I haven't actually touched any of this stuff there. It's just... I left it the way it is. No trash control, though. So we'll see how that works out for me, especially in this game. We all know that this game isn't really the most realistic thing in the world, so... I think I want to go somewhere out of the city. I want to go and drive somewhere out in the woods or like a, a nice mountain pass or something like that. Because I know there are some really, really nice places in this. Like, one of the best things about this game is its map. And the sheer size of it and the amount of things, like, that you can actually do on this map is, is insane. It's so good. There's so many nice roads everywhere. Alright, I put my, my waypoint down on a nice little road to drive on uh, out of Los Angeles here, just to see what this thing is like to drive on oh, some nicer roads. There we go. Some of these type of roads. Where I'm just out in the woods and in nature. It looks really good in this game, though, the car. As as little detail, or, uh, sorry, it's missing a lot of detail, but the car actually doesn't look too bad at all. I wish we had more customization options for this thing. I feel like this game's, like, for some cars, this game has such a vast amount of customization options. And then for some cars, it's just, it's just really bad. Like this one, for example, we didn't have, really have much, but I like the way that we at least have the end performance stuff available to have on the car, you know what I mean? Like for some cars, you don't even have that, which is kind of a big shame, to be honest with you. But, uh, I really do wish that, uh... Oh, the turbo is so sick! Sounds really, really good from the inside. Steering is really, really accurate and precise. I mean, these tires... I think made a huge, huge difference. It's quite nice to drive, actually, even for an arcade game like this. Let's try and be careful as well. A little sideways there, but that's okay. It is nice. It is really, really nice. It's so much quicker than before. It's very, very noticeably quicker. I mean, it does have an extra, what, 300 horsepower. There's a whole ass Golf R extra. <laughs> added to this car. This is why follow me as well. I can see him on the minimap. I'm just chilling, man. I'm just chilling on these mountain roads. What is he in? 400Z or whatever it's called? Oh, a bit of a crash there. Whoops.
I like it. I like it. It's doing a good job with these roads as well. No NOS or anything like that. I think I have... I think this guy has more power than me. He's catching me. Oh, he's a GTR. Jesus Christ, he's level 1,500. Yeah, that thing's fast. That thing's very fast. That was sick, though. That was so sick. Oh, that's a bus. Oh, God. And that's a big rock. You know what? I'm going to relax. I'm going to relax. <laughs> I think that's it. I really, really like this thing. It drives, it drives nicely. I really wish that there was a lot more detail, though, in uh, in this game for this guy. I mean, I know it's old and stuff like that, but um, still, it's uh, it's cool. There you go. I built built myself an M4. I just wanted to see what the difference is from this game to to real life, especially between this guy and my car from real life. Anyway, that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.